Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is May the 15th, 2022. We're going to talk about ARC. Yeah, you guys can see that this particular ETF has received a beating. I mean, everyone on Wall Street has been coming at Kathy Wood, talking about how she was once at the apex of her of her prime. And now you guys can see that her ETF ARC has completely fell off that apex. It, it fell off the mountain. And a lot of people think that she's a complete dud. Well, now I want to come through today and show everyone we might have hit bottom in ARC. And I'm going to show you just by looking at the price chart. I'm not going to talk about Kathy Wood. I'm not going to talk about ARC, the ETF, what stocks they're buying, what stocks they're selling. I'm not going to put technical indicators here. I'm just going to look at the chart for what it is. So, hey, if you find it interesting, guess what? You clicked on the right video. I'm here. I've been doing this for a while, showing everyone that you can actually win in the stock market without making the confusing so check it out before you go hit the like button instead of being also subscribe to the channel because i want you all to see that this is not a hard thing to do all right so check this out let me zoom out of this price chart because you guys can tell that at the high when arc traded at 160 dollars this was february 2021 right it is now trading at 43 that's 72 and a half percent wiped out gone finito over not seeing it right now hmm now this may create a buying opportunity now i want you to see where price is in arc look at where we bottomed at just last week the market bottomed around 40 dollars hmm is that a coincidence i think not look at this come on let's actually look at this this is where a firm area of support is for arc right here back here in 2018 we've established 40 dollars as support in this etf buyers came into the market right here hmm that's the first support area and might i add it's a very strong support area we cannot see price break below 40 dollars because if we do we are definitely in some massive trouble in the stock market as a whole okay so outside of forty dollars my second one is going to be around 36 50 36 dollars and 50 cents so we got 40 and then we got 36 50. those are the two areas that's really important for those looking to buy the market see for me i know you guys have heard you know, a lot of YouTubers telling you to come in and buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip. No, if the market is dipping, you don't need to buy it. It's just plain and simple. You don't buy until the market buys. Right. And you can tell whether or not the market is buying by the volume. OK, and I'm zooming in on this price chart and I want to show you all this for ARC. I want to show you that over the last couple of trading days, look at how high this volume is coming in. Isn't that amazing? This is the establishment of us noticing we may have hit bottom. Yes. I'm not the one to come in and tell you to continue to buy these dips because every time the market dips, you're going to lose. The market will tell you when it hits bottom and all of this volume is the beginning stages of that. We're seeing somebody finding this ETF attractive at these prices. And it's about time because we just completely been in free fall in arc. So now let's talk about this because I do like that. I like that we held bottom so far around $40 to around $36.50. That's the bottom for me is $36.50, even though I can see 40 as well. Okay. So now let's look at arc on a two day. All right. So let me zoom on this price chart here. And this is very good. I mean, take a look at this. This two day price bar price went down. The next one price went up. Buyers came in. It's just that simple. Three day. You get the same type of idea. Price went down on this three day price bar, including prices going up. Buyers are hitting the market. Five day. You guys can see price went down. Price going up. OK, weekly. Look at all that volume coming to the market in art. Like, pay attention. We 
the answers are already here i don't understand why people have you all going through fundamental analysis looking at articles trying to read what's going on try to read someone's tweets trying to figure out what Jerome Powell is trying to do trying to put technical indicators on your chart when emphatically all this volume is climactic so something is going on and there's only two things that we can get buying or selling right so for us to see all of this volume around this low of $40 tells me that it's more than likely somebody big is coming in and buying up this stock or this ETF okay they speak with the money. The market speaks with the money. Once they deploy the money to their position, they can't take it back. It's recorded. So let's check this out. Let's try to create though. How high can we see the market in ARC go? Because yes, even though I'm looking for the price to go up, I mean, I'm going to be a realist. I'm not going to look for the market to go, you know, massively higher, right? And we have an established point to where the market in ARC could not break above. And it's right there around 50. It was used back in 2018, 2019 as restriction until we broke out of it, came back down and nested on $50. And then that's when the market blew up. Okay. So $50 is that. That's where it's at. I could see another restriction area into the market in ARC around 46 that also will be a price target for me. Okay, so we got 46 and 50. So let me show you what we got. So we said 46. Which is only five, maybe 6%. I mean, that's not a lot, is it? No, it's not. But I understand how this market is working though. All that volume that came through, I really don't think the market's gonna stop at around 46, okay? I think 50 is gonna be the first area. Right there around 50. Might fall a little bit shorter than 50, so relax. I'm just trying to pinpoint, just give you a ballpark as to where I'm looking for the market to go in ARC. So my first price target is around 50, okay? Now, we're going to continue to expect the price to go up as long as we hold 36.50. As long as price in ARC maintains itself above $36.50, the probability of us looking for price to go up is still there. The first area is around 50. Now, like I said, I still could see $46 as a hindrance for the buyers to push price higher. But with all this volume that came through, I really don't think that's going to be maintained. But hey, it can. My first price target is 50. My second one is going to be around 52. All right, so I got two price targets, 50 and 52 dollars. All right, and that's it. I'm done. I'm through. Now, only thing we need to do is just simply kick back and come back every once in a while and see how the market is acting. Because if it's not acting right, we need to cut the play. I'm not going to come in and do another video and say, "Hey, buy it anyway," and then the market continue to fall another 15 percent, and then do another video and say, "Hey, come and buy Arc anyway." In the next 40 years, this market is going to be a lot more valuable. And then price falls another 40%. Then I come through and do another video and say, hey, come in and buy the stock anyway. This is what these YouTubers are out here doing on these YouTube streets. They're telling you to buy these stocks when the market is completely collapsing. And then they come through and do another video telling you that it's still a buy. And try to give you some outlandish reason as to why the market is going down. As to why it went this way. As to why the earnings went is terrible but the market still went but it's confusing you guys need to focus in on one thing and that is the price price only that's the indicator for us to know what people really think not the earnings not inflation not looking at someone's tweets not looking at what somebody else's opinion is about a company price that's all you need Make sure you maintain the profitability and as always, trade different.